flail your arms around and write stupid shit and expect other people to fucking empathize with you? Are you like being sincere? Are you writing shit that you actually feel? Are you writing stuff to get a reaction? And who the fuck is gonna give a shit about you when you're back in 10 years to tell your war stories to all the little kids? This song's called. Ugh. Yeah! Ugh. Yo! Yo, we asked this guy on the way here. Like, what street are we on? Because Luke gave great directions, you know? Because, hi, um, I'm Luke, and uh, um, if you want to play a show. So, he gave us these fucking, these kick-ass directions, which are taking us on a tour of DC. And I'm like, so we pull over and we ask this guy, hey, what street are we on? Because we think we're on Constitution. He's like, Ugh. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. So no thanks to Luke and that guy, who are in about the same state, <laughs> we found our way here, and uh, this song's called Welcome Back Fucker, like I was talking about. <laughs> Justin, the erstwhile members of Melhouse are also in a band called Indecision that just returned yesterday from their European tour, and uh, the, uh, they couldn't be with us here today because they like, you know, they had like an eight-hour flight and all this stuff. So filling in for us, Mike D, formerly of CR, now of, uh, infamous Prom King unit, and uh, the band, the man you want to talk about, have had all your hard feelings throughout the night, Chris Russo, ex Black Army Jacket. Yo, they're missing out because Andrew from Black Army Jacket would have made this show if he would have known about all the free food. I'm just kidding, I love those guys. Anyway, we're a group. It's also the life of the party, it's on our new uh, dumb album.
Anyway, thanks to the people involved, like Luke and Patty, and everybody for setting this up because this was really nice. And all the other bands who were playing, especially that last band. What was that name? Cow Headache? Oh. That was the last song. Oh. Nom. Nom? Nom. Nom. Oh, it feels like Nom. Like, yeah, the Nom. I spent two years in Delang. Don't you tell me about the Nom. Anyway, that band was good. Wait, I had something to say and I forgot what it was. Did anyone catch that? Did you say Ghost with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore? It's a classic movie. Okay. So, yeah. Songs on, on our album as well as our split seven inch with Courage in a band who we happily killed by doing a split seven inch with them like we do every band. Uh, and this is called Versus Excalibur and it's about funny stuff that happens to me. Uh, no? <laughs> Was I missing for him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh well. Wow. That's what I was told. I was like, yo, that's in DC. Watch out for the bar fight guys. He <laughs> stole my underwear. Okay, clearing that up. Oh, we gotta wait for Steve Ang to come and beat up again. Yeah, he's good, man. They beat the shit. Oh, yeah, they beat the shit. Stereotype. What the fuck is it me? What is it? Okay. Uh, a given stereotype. Ridiculing people who fit another stereotype utterly. Uh, I don't understand it. 
I don't understand uh, fucking like raging, <laughs> raging straight edge kids with X's on their heads making fun of uh, nerdy little emo kids with glasses and sweaters. I don't get the nerdy little emo kids with glasses and sweaters making fun of the kids with fucking dreadlocks and, uh, and tight ass jeans. I don't understand it because you're all fucking shit to me. <laughs> I'll kick any of your asses. <laughs> and this is about why I don't really leave my house that much anymore unless I have to. And this is called nerves. Goes, you can sing along with me if you know the words because the first verse goes a little like this. It goes. <laughs> sit in my house like I just said right so I joined uh, me and my friend were like well we're sitting around wasting away we might as well do something so we joined a gym right <laughs> so I go to this gym and uh, I'm gaining I guess I'm gaining some muscle I don't know I can't tell but I'm certainly gaining weight I don't understand I'm gonna be one of those fat bodybuilder guys and I'm gonna come back in 20 years and be like what's up we're one like crew <laughs> This is, uh, this guy Jeremy from CI Records put out a really shitty ass record and did a fucking piss poor job of it. He's a former friend of ours, uh, as of this point. It's a split seven inch with us and, and CR, who, who uh, met an untimely demise after that record uh, was recorded. So his attitude was like, well dude, CR broke up, so why should I give a shit? So, you know, pretty much, I guess we're not as cool as CR because I don't have as many muscles. You know, but uh, whatever. So he fucked up the record royally, and just put it out, and didn't really give a shit about it, hasn't done anything with it. So uh, these are on that 7 inch, and then there's a different recording of it on our album. I should buy both, because I need money. And uh, it's called Page Stain of Imbeciles. This was that to my flag. Get your flag out. Get your flag
Wild diarrhea later, but free food. <laughs> anyway, we're lifetime. Thanks for coming to our reunion show. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Harry. Lifetime. Hell, it's good to see you all here. Huh? <laughs> oh. All right, uh, a lot of people give me shit for being a Satanist. Uh, it's funny that most of these people are people who haven't read a book since grade school. So uh, this goes out to them. I'm, wow, I'm dedicating songs. I'm like H2O over here. <laughs> or H2O. Oh, <laughs> Yo, what's up? Wait, that's a boys. What town are we in? All right, uh, DC. Goes out the battery. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm gonna uh, The song's called Insect Colony. It's catchy, it goes like this. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't go like that. Oh, the plates. Yo, if we were suppression, we'd be playing off those, right? Just joking. I never saw suppression like that. I was really freaked out. I was like, this isn't suppression. This guy's having a gas tank. Here's <laughs> some guy selling aluminum. <laughs> it was cool. This was a, I don't, we don't usually get to play bills like this, so this was cool that all the band guys put it on. I'm gushing. I'm like emo. <laughs> anyway, we're New York's fu fucking hardest guy band. This song's called. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah